Why don't you tell the truth, Michelle? Something really bugs you about your mother's jewelry. You really are horrible, you know that? What makes you think that? Mother spent all her time fussing over herself. There wasn't much time left for me and Daddy. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. You're feeling guilty about this, Michelle. What were you up to that you missed your mother? You're crazy. I was waiting out front exactly where she asked me to be. Ask my teacher if it isn't so. You're rotten. I feel terrible already about my mom and you're trying to make me feel worse. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. I think your father was violent with your mother. I think they weren't very happy, and you should tell me, young lady. You may be the police, but you have no right to talk about my mom and dad like that. When my dad gets home, I'm going to ask him to punch you on the nose, mister. I know this is a tough time for you, Michelle, but you should really try and help the police. Hey! What kids? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, here. Please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Calling me a liar on the day I lose my wife. <laughs> Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes, that's right. I think you went with her, but you didn't go to the school. What really happened, Waller? You're making this stuff up, and I'll dare anyone to prove any different. Damn you. I don't even get a chance to grieve, and you go and start pointing the finger at me. You can go to hell. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. My name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Why are you lying to me? You know what happened to the driver. You got some way of proving I had something to do with that car? Do 
You want to take a look at your attitude, mister. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Am I going to have to stand here all day until you tell me the truth? You know the driver. I'm telling you, I don't know who was driving that car. You can prove it different. Gun. Power. They go to your head, son. It's about time you made me an apology. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Tell me the truth. You hit the driver with the pipe. You can't prove I touched that pipe. I think you should take that gun off and I'll teach you a lesson in some manner. You want to arrest me now? Or can I go back to work? Don't leave town, Mr. Wilkie. We'll get in touch with your employer if we need anything more from you. I'll let him know why I missed half my shift today. You boys should learn some gratitude. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. You're lying. You killed your husband, and Morgan helped you cover it up. How dare you? I love my husband. On what basis could you possibly accuse me of wanting to hurt him? It's hardly surprising the police force has such a bad reputation. With people like you representing them. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. That's a lie, Margaret. You know exactly what Perry was wearing because you were there. You're being flat out ridiculous now. Why don't you show me some proof of where I was supposed to be? If I was there? At least I'd know what happened to him. But I don't, detective. And you might not care. But that is the most terrible feeling. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. But you knew where he was really going because you told him to meet you at the rail yards. That's where you jumped him. How did you hide the body? You have an overly active imagination, young man. Do you have any proof of that allegation? My husband is missing. You say he may be hurt, and the best you can do is berate me? You're a poor example of a man. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. 
what is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. <laughs> but I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. You're wrong. I presume it's too much to expect an apology. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. You're lying, Margaret. You're a lush. Kavanaugh's is your hangout. Your tiny mind must really be aching. Do you have any evidence that proves I've ever been in that bar? I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm going to ring my attorney. I hope you're well paid, detective. Get out of the way next time! No, you don't. We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink for, for old time's sake? You want a tip? Refill my coffee fast. You looking for someone? That you know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. That's one heck of a Sunday. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? What All right. Now? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good boss. Oh, please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. If Black is hurt, anything you give up might help us find him before it's too late. Look, if something happened to Adrian, then I'm, I, I'm sorry to hear about that, but I don't know nothing more about it. I can't help you. When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. You're lying, Morgan. What happened to Adrian? I have ten guys who say I was here the whole night. You think you can prove I was there? You through making accusations you can't back up? doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. 